Drop the gun! Show me your hand! At least 279 individual shooting incidents occurred this weekend, with over 350 people being injured or killed in America. Here are the 10 cities with the most shootings. And you can tell summer's coming, because half of these cities are in the double digits. Coming in at number 10, we have Baltimore. They had seven separate incidents, with two killed and five injured. Baltimore is one of four cities to make the top 10 list every week since I started doing it six weeks ago. Number nine, Indianapolis, also had seven incidents, with five killed and five injured. Until I started doing these weekend shootings reports, I didn't realize just how bad Indy has gotten. Number eight, St. Louis, had seven incidents, with six killed and ten injured. Number seven, Washington, D.C., had eight incidents, with one killed and seven injured. Sad to see our nation's capital making this list nearly every week. Number six, Philadelphia had eight incidents with five killed and five injured. Philly ranked in the number two spot the last two weeks, so this drop to sixth is actually good for them. Number five, Milwaukee had ten incidents with two killed and eight injured. Milwaukee started off the year pretty good, but now that it's warming up, the city is quickly going back to its old ways. Number four, New York City had ten incidents with three killed and eight injured. They've also been on this list every week since I started doing it. Number three, Los Angeles also has made this list every week. They reported 12 shootings with one killed and 11 injured. Number two, Houston seems to find its way on this list every other week or so. And when it does, it's been in the number two spot 60% of the time. They recorded 13 incidents with seven deaths and eight injuries. And no surprise, Chicago comes in at the number one spot with 22 incidents Two were killed and 22 injured. Chicago has held and likely will continue to hold this top spot all year. So those are the weekend shootings. There were probably more incidents that weren't reported or recorded as of 8 a.m. Eastern time, but that'll give you an idea of which cities are bad and which are becoming bad. I do this video weekly, so check back next Monday for next weekend's numbers.